Merry Christmas. Everybody out there in the world, happy Hanukkah and definitely happy Kwanzaa out there to everybody. And hope you be safe and enjoy the holidays. I'm getting ready to get out of here soon because I'm going to hit the plane and go to ATL in Florida again. So, you know, I stay busy. I stay on the move and this set of things that I do. But let's get down to it, shall we? Okay. I'll let y'all have a break. I'm just going to put it out there because I told you if Manny Pacquiao didn't accept this fight, what was going to happen to Manny Pacquiao? His career will be tainted for the rest of his life. And it's not even a day. And it's not working. They saw some Filipino left me a message saying that I'm just telling the Mayweather side of the story. I'm reporting what's happening. There is no Mayweather side of the story. It is the story. So he's not fighting because he doesn't want to take the test the way that it was presented. He wants the test to go the way he wants it to go. But Bob Aram came out and finally made a statement. So I wanted to wait and make the video so everybody could see Bob Aram's statement and how ridiculous it was for him to try to find a way to defend Manny Pacquiao not taking the test and get him out of the fight because Manny's not going to agree because he knows he can't agree. <laughs> There's no way he can fight. He's up to. He's hiding something. Okay, it's like he's working at UPS. Like everybody knows, UPS don't have a drug policy test unless you want to become a driver. You want to become a driver, then you can take the drug test. So. We know there's a large percent of people that work there that do drugs. <laughs> so when they want to become a driver, you know you have to be clean. And they don't take just urine. They take hair samples. And when somebody found out they were doing hair samples, they freaked out and started panicking. Like, why are they taking my hair? Oh, my God, because they wanted the urine to come. The urine is only half of it. The only way you could positively test for HGH is taking a blood sample. That is the way you can get a hundred percent. Now Manny's saying that a day before the fight, this is the Pacquiao side of the story. They're saying they didn't care about taking the test. The test is not the problem. They Roach himself called and talked to the guy that would be doing it. And he asked him, was there any way he could do it there he can guarantee that they wouldn't do it the day prior to the fight, the day before the fight. And they said no. So he said, well, then we can't take the test. That is his only complaint. From Roach's standpoint, Freddie Roach came out and publicly made that statement that they couldn't guarantee him they wouldn't do it the day before the fight, which they're not going to guarantee you they're going to do it, but they're going to do five tests. And what does it matter? When you can get HGH out of your system within four days in your cycle period. That's why it's not showing up in your urine. Is because you have four days. They have liquid testosterone. You can rub that on your arms and use that with metformin, hydrochloride, the drug that I said he was using to gain weight. And it wasn't just me. It was told to me by a guy who does these testings for the Olympics when it was done here for Chicago for the boxing Olympics. He was part of the testing. He lives here in Illinois. And that's what they, he, he took one look at Manny Pacquiao and said, this guy's not carrying the kind of weight you would carry when you move up in weight. His body was just chiseled like out of steel. And for somebody, he was like a natural guy who put on that weight. It looked like that was his natural weight. And he started gaining his weight at like 25, 26, 27, of all this extra muscle moving up. It's not impossible to do, but it's very hard to do. And he has no water weight on him at all, just all complete muscle. The guy said, well, he's probably using metformin hydrochloride. He didn't say anything about how illegal it is. He doesn't know if it's legal. He said he doesn't think it's banned for the professional boxing because he only deals with the Olympic style boxing. And I made the video. And this was months ago. So you can go ahead and bash all you want and talk all you want. But the truth of the matter is, Bob Arum, it didn't work. Everybody knows Manny pulled out of the fight. 
because he's afraid of the test. What good is it? We want to take it at the uh, end. Who, if you if you clean, you don't care. You don't care. You don't care when the test take place. Timothy Bradley said he'll come in right now and fight Mayweather, Pacquiao, whatever. He'll take any test you got. You don't have a problem with the test. Why? Because he's clean. <laughs> if you're clean, you don't complain about tests. You don't have another stage test set up like, you can take my hair on this date and take my blood on that day. I bet you come back clean. That's what people who dirty do. We know this. Us as black people, we, we know a dirty person when we see one. When people start making up fuss and excuses why they got to take a test, we already know they dirty. <laughs> you ain't got to tell us. We don't have to read comments. We don't have to see any facts. We already know that person's going to drop dirt. So that's just what it is.